Hello and welcome back to Spirit Far. Can we go yet? You decide. Yes. Thanks. You might be one of the two most tragic spirits in here. Really. I just hope Lily won't tell us what happened with Gwen. I'd rather be with no. I'd rather not be sure about how she went. <laughs> All right, when it was just you and me doing experiments and running around chasing dust shades. Don't forget to do that sometimes. I won't be there, but I'm sure it will still be fun. Be mean, really mean. Why they have to be? My mom is mean sometimes, just like your friends after my play. And it makes me sad when people are mean. And sometimes I cry when I'm sad. But then I remember. I remember what my dad used to say. Stanley, people are not really mean. Sometimes their intentions are just take the wrong path. I don't hate your friends. They're not bad people. That's what my dad would say. They just do bad things sometimes. I never wanted to let mom down, or make people not like me. I don't want to do bad things, but sometimes I do, and I always regret it. I don't think that makes me bad. Do you think my mom will be disappointed in me? Disappointed that I had to go? I tried! I really tried! But I don't think I did it. I like it when I win, but I couldn't this time. I think it's okay. It's okay to lose sometimes. I really think it is. I'm really trying to be brave, but I, I'm really scared. I wish I could be a superhero and never be afraid. I've hoped so much that this was just a nightmare. If this was a nightmare, why can't I wake up? I was trying, trying and trying. I wanted to wake up. I always talk to myself. Stanley wants to wake up, but it never worked. I never woke up. It all felt so real. And it made me sad. So sad, I couldn't think of anything other than sadness. You take care of Jacob, okay? Jacob is a good beetle. And he was my friend. <laughs> this is exactly like my play! This time, I am the lead actor. I will put on a good show, I promise! I feel strange. I feel cold. I wish mom was here. And dad. But you are here, big cat. I really like you. I hope it's like, f it's like falling asleep. Okay, where do we have to go now? Oxpear Shine. Overbrook. Oh, we have to go to Oxpear anyway, so might as well do that. Oxpear. Right, yep. Eh. 
you might as well. Hummingbird, bottom line corp, Oxbury. Okay, so Oxbury it is. Well, might as well do this first. It is off. Might think this is strange. You get attached to some imaginary character. Well, it's just how it is. It's not strange for me. Okay, so I won't keep you with me for the whole duration of the road. I'll meet you ah, in the August period. So, we are back. Okay, so we are here. I'm, I'm through. I guess I've got it. I'm cool. I'm calm. I'm collected. <laughs> it will be fine now. Hopefully. Why did I come here? Uh, oh, and Lily. Right. Okay, who am I looking for? Bob. Oh. Hey, Bob. Hello, friend! No, you're not Bob. Mm. No, you're not Bob either. Oh. Nope. Eh, yeah, you're not a either. Okay? Oh. Hey! Yep. Oh. See you! Yep. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm... Holds fairly... Mm -hmm. No, he won't be inside. He wouldn't be right. Oh, the people in Canada is brave as much as I fall. It's been rough for me. I have taken a substantial debt for all these lemons. If no one wants them, then I'm shit over. Mm -hmm. But I've got it now. We are heading into a new era. The dawn of tomato mm -hmm. juice. Same principle. Freshly squeezed and fresh. If you aren't busy, maybe you could make the run for me. I've got a cure waiting at bottom line group. I've got a good price of price of some tomatoes and I can't pass the pretty fast. Hey, it will be worth it. Same puzzle last time? Good? Good. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm in for some tomato juice, mm -hmm. actually. Uh -huh. Oh. 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 Ah, finally! No, I won't bow before you. I know who you are. And although I respect your reputation, I'm El Farin, Ranger of the Seventh Moon. And Rangers of the Seventh Moon bow to no one. As the leader of the Glorious Silver Company, I'll uphold once again the Crusader's mantle. Some preparations need to be made. And then, yes, I will ride my noble steed and regroup with you all. Go, reunite my Dove Fellowship. For the time has come, and adventure come cometh once more. Do you want it? No, okay, no, nothing. And I'll wait here for Lily. So, see you soon. Are you ready? Because I'm not. This is gonna hit hard. 
That's your first Montreal apartment, isn't it? When you moved out of the house to the big city, my big sister's striking out on her own. Yeah, that place was such a damp. Sorry, sis. It was. We could decorate it all we wanted. There were always smells whatever your neighbors were cooking, and you could hear them yelling at each other. Your rent was probably so cheap. Plus, you were all alone. No roommates. Oh, not quite alone. With Daffodil. I wish I'm still mad at you for taking the family cat. But I don't remember us talking that much during that time. You were busy with work. I was still in high school, not paying much attention. I don't think we had much in common. Except death, maybe. For me, after that, I had to do something about it. I was trying to shut it out, but it kept coming anyways. I don't know how we can deal with it constantly. Walking at the hospital with people at the end of their lives around you all the time. Helping those people who are suffering in front of your eyes. There was summer. She did not go quick. That cancer stayed inside her until its time. It even gave her some hope, but it came back harsher. Mom was devastated. It's probably for the best that Rose wasn't around to see it. Rose was so kind spirited and fragile. Losing her dear Summer would have broken her heart. I remember going to Summer's house with Mom with all those plants and that heat. It was like sauna. We said something about the body being like all living things, especially plants. We just remember being mad and sweating a lot. Then there was your, the friends you made along the way. Giovanni and his wife Astrid. To hear you talk about them, they were basically your adoptive grandparents. And the stories that would come out of their mouths, the cheating, the lies, the heartbreak, all those headaches. Can you imagine what Giovanni put Astrid through? But she was right at his side at the end. Even if she had moved on, even if she had found someone else, he, he was her one and only jail forever. They both knew that they only had each other in the end. That's how I wanna go out, sis, holding the hand of the one I adore. I think I need a refill, maybe stretch my legs a bit. I'll be back in a minute. Don't you go anywhere. Oh no, we're getting away. I'm glad we had to wait for that. I don't know how I would handle this. What? <laughs> Without taking a little bit of rest. Let's go to Overbrook. And let's see. Hummingbird, but mine cop. We'll get that on the way. And we're burn back correctly. It's right here. We'll get there. So there's nothing to worry about. More garlic! And those two are ready to be harvested. See more garlic. No, uh, it was an onion. That should make it. That should do it. Yeah, that should do it. Yes, yes. I'm going. We really wanted to get rid of all that stuff. So Stella was a nurse, I think. Well, she was, you know, not sober. Oh, what's the word? God damn it! I know it. Awake. 
I'll stay, I will stay with that. Oh, now she's an ex. That's the what? Shit, are you okay, Anne? I didn't do nothing wrong, right? It was that gosh darn psycho nut case up there. She just was lashed out at me. She's a lunatic. I said it for years. We should just pour my arm full of pills and be done with. Mm -hmm. No answer, eh? That's what I thought. Bunch of fucking losers. Nah. What? You. You're there. Final freakingly. Ah. And what took you so long? Were you checking out the birds and the pretty clouds on the way here? Well, I could have used your help for once. Oh. You what, want to know what happened, don't you? I'll tell you what happened. You happened. I told you that she was unstable. Mm -hmm. I told you that she needed to be left alone. But no, you couldn't leave it to the professionals. Little Miss Perfect just had to stick her nose in everyone's business. Mm -hmm. She was already crazy to begin with. And then you give her that psycho instrument made with glass and sharp steel. Are you out of your goddamn mind? So yeah, I go in and try to take it from her. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, whatever. This job is not about you, Stella. Mm -hmm. It's not about feeling good. It's about safety. It's about keeping us safe from these morons and keeping them safe from themselves. What? Calm down. You calm down. I swear this freaking place. I can't take it anymore. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I won't take it anymore. Because I quit. <laughs> you can go. You can all go to hell. And you. Have fun taking care of these idiots. So long, shit stain. And don't bother calling. I won't answer. You know what happened? I just saw a crowd. I thought there was a fight. Mm. I heard all of that. That orderly Jackie. He's always been a loose cannon, mm. but he's gone too far this time. Things are really bad out here. It's the worst thing to happen over Brookson's mandatory nighttime mm. slot. I can't believe what he did to Daria. She's usually so quiet. He gives to herself. Mm. Johnny had one thing, her music. And, well, she fought to protect it. Mm. What a mess. This place has really fallen on some hard times. We need better living conditions. Mm. We need fresh meals. We need proper medical care. We are here to be cured, not forgotten or, or ill-treated. Mm. I'm not waiting on the staff, not even on management. I'm taking matters into my own hands, but, but I'm not. But I'm gonna need some mm. help. Possibly by someone with a boat and people skills. What do you say? You don't need to answer. Mm. I just know who you're already in. Alright, let's start. Here's a list of potential candidates. Mm. You will need uh, to find capable people. We can't have this situation happening again. I'm counting on you. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought that was her. Point over Brook Villa Majori South Point Dogs Hoseki Quarry I'm not quite sure where that is near here South Point Dogs is at South Point is So this is where we're going. Straight over there. Well, hopefully he will come back to senses soon. Well, he wasn't really a nice guy. I know we're not supposed to like... It's, it's not supposed to be easy to like everyone in here and you know I can kinda get it if he really was all alone in there just him and then oh. it must have been very taxing and 
both mental and physical. Oh, I'm gonna so much upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade it. <laughs> when you're gone, it's all gonna be very nice. Only after you are gone. I won't do anything against your will. So yeah, there's that. Upgrades we send XP potion, which per we'll probably get from back. I think. Uh, the nine carp, yep. Right. I don't quite remember where that is. <laughs> probably in the misty parts. <laughs> We just got out of there. Yep. We just got out of there, Captain. Okay, why am I here again? For this. One man. You. Yep, 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 yep. Could he be? Mm -hmm. Maybe he's up there? Oh. Nope. I'm not getting up there that way. We're even falling faster. And, well. Then the lift. Move. Nope, that's not you. You're not the person I'm looking for. Oh. Nope. No! Whoa! That was close. Oh, that's another one. Shaper upgrade, finally! I honestly forgot about those things! Oh. Nope. You? Oh. Nope. Is there anyone else we can talk to? I'm a bit busy right now, miss. One of my guests got his hands cut off yesterday. Yeah, oh. I know, there's quite a bit of paperwork. If Mike wants his hospital bills paid, he needs to sign this thing from the corporate office. It's pretty boilerplate oh. legal, legal stuff. I think Mike wants you if he pay his medical bills. Anyway, the doctors are re reattaching his hands right now, so he'll be able to sign it soon enough. Oh. I know, apparently doctors can do that. What was the name of this doctor again? I don't remember his name, but I know where he oh. lives. Why? Because he kept saying it over and over. He was very proud of his penthouse in Old Central oh. District. It was weird. I was in the operating room as a, as a representative of the company. Uh, the doctor kept talking about his hot tub and his million dollar oh. watch. Meaning us that he was the best doctor in the whole wide world. All of that while we were touching Mike's head to hands. It oh. was pretty wild. I was just thinking, can you stop taking, talking and concentrate on the touching my body's hands? Anyway, Mike's gonna be okay. He'll be back at work oh. soon. The company only offers five sick days a year, and he already took a couple to take care of his daughter. Hands or no hands, Mike will be in tomorrow. And I guess his doctor will be in the penthouse in Old Central District. What an old world! Oh. Uh, yep, there's that. Really? Oh, really? Okay, I have a way to do that. Not quiet. Oh yeah, good. My god, this can't come off yesterday. It was gross. It was the first stuff mm -hmm. ever. Oh, it was so intense. Apparently, the doctors were able to retouch them. Isn't that wild? Sense is so rad. You couldn't do anything these days. Basically, yeah. Thank you. Okay, I think that's all. Oh, that's all. Wait. 
I'm going to go back. No. That was strange. Okay, but I think this is actually a fairly good place to end this part, so... For now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon! Bye!